We got a real tearjerker in store for you guys today. We're gonna let this dialogue play out and then we'll dive in from there. Our home won't be safe until we drive them out to sea. And when they're gone, what happens then? We start new lives. I used to know what my new life would be. Now I'm not even sure who I am. Bring hope to our people, fear to the Mongols. And be hunted by samurai. If anyone can change a samurai's mind, it's you. Keep fighting. Master, is it? We can't stay here long. My uncle will come looking for us. No, he won't. After the battle, he sent a messenger. Did he offer to make peace? He wants to meet you by the still waters under the red-leafed tree. Omi Lake. We used to spar there when I was a child. Want company? I need to face him alone. He's my only family. I know. It still hurts thinking about Taka. The smell of smoke in his hair. His quiet laugh. The hell he'd give me for drinking too much. My whole life, he was part of me. And... And now... I'm alone. You're not alone. You have me. A ghost. You belong to everyone. And to think they had a thing for each other a couple episodes ago. But that's no more, because we are the ghost. <laughs> but to bring you all up to speed, if you haven't watched the last episode, definitely highly recommend that, obviously. But if you don't got time, you press for time, you want to kind of just keep the flow of this episode. Last episode, we have finished uh, wrapping up the current Mongol invasion, at least to an extent. The Khan's dead, he's no more. Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm not really looking forward to this episode. Um, the whole thing's going to be completely surrounded uh, around this one mission here. Uh, and that one, I believe, is called The Tale of Lord Shimura. Yep. Alright, those rewards aren't going to be a two-for-one deal. It's going to be an either-or situation. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll fast travel real quick. Uh, but I won't spoil anything for you guys. It's going to be based on the decision you make at the very, very end of the mission and the very end of this episode. And that's how we're going to end it. But with that, what we'll unlock is going to be one of those armor cumber armor colors. Wow. For the new ghost armor that we've recently unlocked from Taka and after everything that happened with that. I'll go ahead and I'll showcase that armor that we unlocked from the decision I make. The, probably the more controversial one. And then I will also showcase the other armor. And then that'll allow you guys to kind of get an opinion. If you haven't already played the game, maybe you want some refreshment on, you know, the armors and what they look like. Ooh, sorry, bud. And then you can formulate your own opinion. To be honest with you, the decision I'm going to make in this playthrough is not going to be my preferred armor. But it's a cool spin. It's different. We'll go ahead and we're going to take a little... A little breather to refresh her here, and then we're gonna cut to uh, meeting the Shimura. Jin. Uncle. I wasn't sure you would come. I wanted to talk with you. If we work together, we can drive off the remaining Mongols. Start rebuilding our home. That is not your duty. The Shogun has disbanded Clan Sakai. As of today, you are no longer Samurai.
I sacrificed everything for my people. And I would do it again. New samurai are coming to replace those we lost. They will occupy your land and estate. I have to say goodbye to my home. Ride with me. Damn. Stripped of tile and rank. You know what they say, nothing scarier than a man with nothing to lose. No, I'm just kidding. We're peaceful, you know. Peaceful warriors, poet warriors, warrior poets. I don't know. Beautiful backdrop for a uh, otherwise not so peaceful moment. Will you remain in Chito of Tsushima? Yes. Shogun asked me to train his warriors to fight the Mongols. Good. They won't give up until they've conquered all of Japan. I will spend what years I have left ensuring they fail. A task I hoped we would face together as father and son. You can still remarry, start a new family. Yes, I suppose I can. I mean, Just shit, how old is Shimura? Here, let us help you. Don't, don't trouble yourselves, my lord. Nonsense. You can't do it alone. You are much too kind. The mud is sicker than it looks. That's a heavy load. Where are you headed? Jogaku. The ghost army is up there. He has an army. You didn't hear? He'll sail for the Mongol steppes with a storm at their back. Burn their homes to the ground. An impressive goal. This is everything I can offer them. I hope it helps. Then we will see you on your way. Everybody give a heave and a hole and a poo. Thank you, my lord. Jogaku is many miles from here. Keep away from the mud. And the Mongols. I will. I have no idea what he's talking about. Not here. Follow me. Still a big fan of Shimra's horse. I don't have an army. Every day, more people flock to your cause. The Shogun is concerned. I am concerned. You have nothing to fear. When the new clans arrive, will people bow to their samurai? Or betray them in the name of the ghost? I won't let them do that. They'll listen you to me. You openly defied me, Jin. My most trusted warrior. You taught our people to disobey their leaders. What makes you think your followers will obey you? Damn, stumped him. Stumped me too. That's enough riding. Walk with me, Jin. As you wish. Daily vibe check. The family cemetery. The resting place of seven generations of Sakai, including your mother and my father. We must pay our respects. I fucking love this game. It is so beautiful. I will make 
miss this. So will I. The Shogun has declared you a traitor. He ordered you to kill me. The ghost was an outlaw. He taught our people to defy their leaders. To defend themselves. With poison. A gift you gave to our enemy. I had to stop you from throwing away our people's lives. You have no honor. And you are a slave to it. You are my son. Now I must continue the line of Shimura without you. I must start a new family. And my head is the cost. Taking it is my punishment. Our final day together. It is beautiful. It's time. Write the last words of Clan Sakai. And Clan Shimura. And Clan Shimura. I like how Jin made sure to add that. I, hey, old man, let's be real here. Who's the best swordsman in the land? So we get a final haiku. We'll try and make this beautiful and poetic, you know, for an otherwise uh, not so beautiful and poetic scene. I mean, it is a beautiful poetic scene, but circumstances otherwise. Sorry. I mean, you guys have heard me say it enough. This game is top tier. Eyes that saw my pain. A bond broken forever. No death redeem us. I mean, try and tell me that wasn't beautiful. I will train you to become the strongest warrior Clan Sakai has ever known. I will raise you as my own son. Are you ready? I am ready.
our really goal, really just nice. like with every fight and duel up to this point, is to try to break down what we need to look out for and kind of how to set you guys up for success. While also, I'm not trying to embarrass myself in the meantime. Uh, so far, we got, it looks like, two kind of high stabbing, thrusting motions, which are parable. And then this. The wounds you dealt my spirit will never heal. It looks like that when he goes into that overtop kind of slashing down motion he's going right into a kind of three unblockable combo there spirited uh, let's see okay so that last one switches out from an unblockable to a parryable so keep that in mind again the high thrusting motion you can parry that it looks like uh, so there we go yeah so he'll switch back and forth with that high over the top motion it looks like he does have one that you can parry which you'll notice with the red marking but yeah, he switches, switches back and forth. And then other than that, it looks like he's got that kind of little, like, Euro step. Here we go. Little sidestep shuffle motion he comes at you with. This is not my revenge. It is my punishment. Yeah, I mean, I feel for Shimra. I mean, you gotta take into account, he's, he's in a, between a rock and a hard place here. He's gotta stay loyal to the Shogun. Or lose all support, obviously, as the Jito. Uh, but also has to fight his nephew, who up to this point has pretty much raised as his son. So. Everyone's got their life to live. Ooh. Alright, this hasn't been the best duel so far. I've, oh, as I say that. I've missed a couple, so I apologize for the sloppiness here. Hopefully we can finish off strong. And I spoke too soon. Alright, here's where we finish off strong. Yep, alright, one more sequence and this is it. Oh. That move is clean. So this is what we were talking about in the beginning of the mission. You can spare or you can kill him. Uh, I'm going to go with the controversial choice. I'm going to spare him. So please bear with me. Don't hate me. Uh, but this is just the choice we're going to make for this one. I have no honor. family. The ghost will be haunted for the rest of his days. I know.
I just couldn't do it. I couldn't kill him. Uh, but if you guys do want to see how that ends in the alternative ending, I do have a short actually up uh, a little bit farther back on the page. You'll be able to find it. It's one of the Ghost of Shima ones. Uh, and it shows that ending if you want to see that. But the original intention was this, was main story. We honestly got here crazy quick. I wasn't expecting that. We are going to go ahead in the next episode. We'll go ahead and we'll show the differences in coloration for the two ghost armors we're going to unlock. Kind of show you what the follow-up is after this story tale. And then we'll dive into the tale starting off with Lady Adichie. I really appreciate you guys checking back in again. And we will kick off our party in part 18.